What's up guys, Nathan Hamilton here. Today we're gonna take a little bit of a departure from normal tech and editing videos to talk about gun safety. So the number one rule of gun safety is to never ever Well, maybe let's stick to video editing. I'll show you exactly how to create these effects. How awesome is that special effect? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that within iMovie and it's actually rather simple which is the case many times with iMovie and there are essentially three layers to what we're going to do there's the sound effects there's the visual effects and then there are some instances where we need to speed up the footage to to match the movement within the scene so one of the most important things to do first off is search for pre-keyed FX and those are the gunshot and the fire explosion that you'll see within the video and I use footage crates specifically just because they offer some free video effects and also some sound effects. I just have to sign up and I believe you get five to 10 or so downloads per day and you can sign up for a pro membership which has some of the better options out there. Um, I would suggest looking at them and I imagine there's some other providers out there that do the same. I've already cut up the footage as you can see down here and this specific section here which is where the gunshot takes place I want to speed it up some just to show some of the movement of the gun the recoil and so forth just to make it more impactful first select your footage go up to the timer here and I've selected fast instead of normal and just done 2x speed on that you can see well, let's look at the clip here just a little bit quicker can't really catch much of it there since it's such a quick cut, but that's intended. So the first thing we want to do here is actually add the explosion from the gun onto this layer of footage. I'll have to make a few changes because as you can see as we scrub it here, the gunshot is actually taking place from left to right, whereas I need it to go from right to left because that's how I composed the actual shot. And to add this on top, just select Q and move it to about the right point within the scene. And that's right about there, I believe. And what we're going to do is double click it, go to cutaway, select picture in picture. I don't know if this affects anything, but I always put it to zero for dissolve. Make sure there's no border. And then what we're going to do is slide this over to approximately where it happens within the frame. And to make the change to flip the video, you just go to this filter button here, clip filter, and select flipped. So let's take a look at it here. We'll go frame by frame. Okay, we're going to move it down a little bit. Perfect, and size it up. Let's get that pretty big. Okay, let's test the shot here. Okay, looks good there. Okay, and then we cut to outside where the car is parked, and we're going to layer on an explosion. So again, press Q to layer on top. And we're gonna have to size this one to make it fit the car as it's shot. So again, we go picture in picture, set it to zero, make sure there's no border. And this one we're really gonna have to make big, so you're gonna have to stretch it outside of the frame. What I wanna do is speed up the explosion at the beginning to really give it some pop. So we're just gonna look at these few frames here, cut it, Go to the speed editor. I'm gonna increase the speed. We'll just say 200%. And you can see that's what happens when we do that. And then slide in the remainder of that footage. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like that where we are. It's pretty good for just messing around with a couple clicks. <laughs> So the next thing is to add in the sound effects and I've already preloaded those into the iMovie events. And this here is the gunshot and just drag it down to exactly where 
the gunshot occurs. And we'll cut that a little bit. Do the same for the explosion, which kind of has a loud boom and then it fades away as you can see here. And just drag that to where the explosion begins. The magnetic timeline will help clip it to the right point. And then cut that out, Command B. As we can see here without the sound, let's see how it looks going from the end of the intro to the slow motion of myself. The number one rule of gun safety is to never ever <laughs>As you can see, it's easy to put in some special effects within iMovie, whether it's speeding up the footage, visual effects, sound effects. You can even do it for free. iMovie's free, footage create is free, and they can actually make your videos pop pretty significantly. So if you are interested in videos, go ahead and check out my other video. It's linked here, how to shoot better iPhone videos. And I've also put together some recent iMovie tutorials on transitions and so forth and how to use them within iMovie. Perhaps you enjoy those and go ahead and throw a comment down at the bottom and let me know if you like this video or your favorite effects or favorite hacks for iMovie. would love to hear them. Of course, go ahead and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.